Fighting. Michael Wrong video. We're talking about men and women just being friends. You brought it up. And I'm just saying I don't believe you. And I'm entitled to that opinion. It's not about whether You've you believe me or not. You've said that to me enough times on this Do channel. Do you want me to call them? About enough opinions. No. Why? Are you saying you no. don't believe me? I'm, I'm telling no, you. No, because it's irrelevant. How well, is it any, irrelevant? Ever, You're saying I'm lying. It's irrelevant. You no, know, yesterday I asked you, are you joking right now? Because I. No, I was dead serious in yeah. that conversation. I, I was generally pissed off. Yeah, I, well, we can talk about that later because <laughs> you pissed me off. But I pissed you off. Yeah, you pissed me off. What did I do? I don't really want to get into this whole debate with you now because I think that will be a whole video without watching this whole long video. You'll get cooked now. I had a long think about it. Now I know why I think what I think. You put me on the spot last time and I, did, I couldn't formulate what I wanted to say that, properly. Oh, that's the story of my life. That's what happens to me every week on Midnight Rubbish. And then I, got, then I ponder about it and I'm like, damn, I should have said this, I should have said that. Yeah, well, I know what I wanted to say now. Right, okay. So can men and women be just friends? Yeah. Go for it. Men and women can be just friends as long as I think the man has hit certain levels in his life. Right. So what I realized is that when I was very young and I was coming into puberty and I was like a little bit more chubby and not getting <coughs> attention from pretty girls, I would befriend pretty girls. This is like, I think when I was like, I, don't know, I guess 13 to 14 when you start like, Maybe earlier, I can't remember. When you start getting attracted to girls or like taking a more of an interest in them, I remember I would befriend the pretty girls in school. Not all of them. Some of them were genuinely my friends. And um, I think in the back of my mind, even if I wasn't thinking about it, I think you, you as a guy looking at something, uh, looking at a girl that's pretty, you're automatically going to walk over to them, befriend them. At that time, I didn't really know what the friend zone was. I wasn't really thinking of it. <coughs> What I've come to realize in my time interacting with girls is that back then I do think that I was friends with them because I thought they were pretty and because they weren't hadn't, hadn't necessarily given me a chance. They didn't see me that way. Whereas like the ugly girl over there that maybe she's a nice person, didn't really want to talk to her because she wasn't like the shiny thing. Mm. As I got older and like without sounding vulgar, but I'd been with different women, mm -hmm. I lost the need or the want to go and speak to like i don't care if you're pretty anymore i care more about if i can hold a conversation with you and being pretty is a bonus but now if you look at my pool of friends obviously i'm not gonna name names or anything but it's, it's a wide spectrum of people that you might think like that models and people you might not turn around and look at i don't care anymore and i think that's only because i had so much experience with women growing up to the point where it did, it no long, I was no longer fascinated about banging X, Y, and Z. I'd already felt like I'd gotten that all out of my system. So I, not like that. No, I just really disagree with what you're saying. Uh, not, hear me out. Now, when I become friends with, like, I, I don't, I can't say, I don't, because people are going to know who I'm talking about, but I became friends with somebody very, well, very, very good friends. Mm. She's, how do I say this? Right, and she's she's very overweight. She's a really really nice girl though, and I like hanging out with her. Mm -hmm. If you saw her, obviously you would know Michael's never going to date this person. He's not come here to smash. So when I was younger, that might not have happened because I didn't have my experience with loads of women. So the novelty wore off. I think guys, as they get older, if they don't get to experience loads loads of nice girls, loads of girls they find attractive, they will continue to befriend girls that are just attractive, like physically, and they'll simp over them. Now I think with, especially with my group of friends, I don't think any of them are like that anymore. I think they can genuinely go out and have conversations and become proper friends with people. Mm -hmm. I can show you six or seven people that I talk to on a like, semi-regular basis that are either overweight, don't look anything like someone that I would date. And that, again, is only because I'm no longer interested in just going for the pretty girl. So yeah, men and women can be friends, but I think a man has to have a certain level of experience first before he can do that. Okay, so these friends that you have that you're not very much physically attracted to, how often do you hang out with them? Uh, through the summer, it was quite often, mm. like maybe three or four times a week. Mm. Uh, over the, Obviously, the Christmas period and January, I haven't seen them. But going into... When I come back from Japan, I'll probably see them through from May up until okay. November all the time. Let me ask you this question then. Because I said before, I don't really care about a, a guy's body count. I 
I actually sometimes prefer if his body counts higher because I see it as he's got it out of his system, you know, he's 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 done it all, that he's maybe less likely to cheat because he's he's had his fun. And everyone says to me, Not necessarily, not necessarily, that doesn't mean anything. It means something. But then you're practically saying, as a young guy, I got it out of my system of of, of you know, hanging out with pretty girls and doing whatever you're doing that now I can just be friends with girls without it having to be anything. I don't understand. It's either you get stuff out of your system or you don't. Well, the people that are saying to you that it doesn't mean anything are wrong. It means something. It means something for different people. Like I said, me, for example, if I invited you out with some of the girls that I I chill with and you saw them, Mm. you would be like, okay, clearly there's no attraction here. I don't know about on their side. I highly doubt it. Okay, But... I think that if you do something for a prolonged period of time, the your interests start to change. If you never get exposed to something, you're always going to wonder. So you're always going to do. Yeah. So when I when I think about the whole concept of can men and women just be friends, I get that guys and girls can be friends. Yeah, it, it happens. But when I say men and women just be friends, I mean like, tight knit friendship like yeah. as close as you are with your boys you're a, a, that close with this girl and you talk every day and you hang around every day I don't personally think that a guy and a girl can just be friends and spend that much time together without there being some underlying thought from either end of I want to sleep with you or I fancy you or something like that and when we spoke about this last I explained to you that when I was younger granted younger times maybe this is what it was but I used to have a lot of um, close male friends and young and naive I thought I was generally just their friends and as I've gotten older it's come to light that they all fancied me which is why they were so close with me Um, now I me and Michael had this big debate off camera right and I said to Michael what is your opinion on if you got into a relationship with a girl but she already had this guy best friend that she's been best friends with for let's say three four years now and they hang hang out every week and they talk every day how would michael feel about that i'll let you explain Mm -hmm. but michael is basically saying he doesn't like it Mm -hmm. and i don't understand no matter how many times you explain to me i don't understand how if they're just friends and you can be just friends without it being anything else, why, once you get into a relationship, why it would then be an issue for your girlfriend to still have her just friend Mel if there's nothing else to it? It's, it's a friend. Okay. It's the same as her having her female friend. I, I just, I don't, you either, there's either undercover attractions there or there's not, and it shouldn't be an issue then if she's still got her normal friend in a relationship with you if it means nothing on the, on the if she's single. Okay, well, I, I have some examples for you. I'm going to name names. Mm-hmm. And uh, I know these people watch these videos. Mm-hmm. Um, so in secondary school, I was very close with a girl called Andrula, <coughs> who is still he's basically family. We refer to each other as cousins. Yeah. Now, yeah, there's not a single message between us mm-hmm. that has ever been sexual. There's not a single time that you could pull up where she would ever say to you, yeah, he did sign that made me feel a certain type mm-hmm. of way. She's never put herself <coughs> forward like that. I've never put myself forward that. There's never been any physical attraction. Obviously, I can see that she's a pretty girl. But did but you hang around like yeah, we every were literally week and spoke every day? Every day, day we were yep. together. I would walk her home. She'd mm-hmm. walk me home. She'd come to my house. We'd go mm-hmm. cinema together. Mm-hmm. At no point was there ever any chemistry on a sexual level. Can I ask how old you were? Same age. No, no, like at the time. Oh, I met her because I think I was hanging out out in secondary school, you're more not likely well, we to hang out around with outside of school as well. She yeah, to my but house. I mean that age, you're more likely to hang around with same gender. But I mean, if we look at anyone from the age of say 21 to 35, that okay. age range where you're a bit older, not even 21 because that's still a bit young. Uni days, people hang out with each other. Let's say from the age of 24 to 34. Yeah. So it's an older sort of age. That age range. Yeah. What, meeting yeah. at that age range? Just, um, yeah, meeting at that age and, and having this close-knit friendship. Um, Any of those ages? Yeah. I, I, I've, I mean, let me go through my examples for you. Yeah. So you've got Andrula, yeah. who is basically like my cousin. Mm-hmm. I've called her that for as long as 
and she can comment on this video as well. Yeah. Um, she was at my party, so I don't know if you met her. Mm-hmm. Uh, who's the other girl I was going to say? Oh, my, my sister-in-law, mm-hmm. right? May, I met her when I was uh, maybe like 18, I mm-hmm. think. I'm not too sure. And same situation. There was never a situation where me and her ever crossed paths like that. Mm-hmm. She couldn't tell you a time. There's no, there's no conversation that someone could leak and go, oh, Michael is chatting shit. Mm-hmm. And even my, so, and then to get onto the other question where you're like, wow, I'd have a problem with it. Mm-hmm. I have another friend called Bailey mm-hmm. who, before she got with her boyfriend, I was regularly going out with her. We were eating together. We were training in the gym together. At no point did me and Bailey cross paths like that. Mm-hmm. When she got with her boyfriend, mm-hmm. she took a step back from seeing me, not because he was he had a certain like thing against me. Me and him talk. Yeah. But I understand that when you get into a relationship, mm-hmm. even if you've got a guy best friend, mm-hmm. even my friend Amber, she refers to me as her best friend, right? Me and Amber are very tight. We don't get to see each other as much anymore because she's got a kid now. But you don't spend that amount of time with another guy, and not because you think that he's going to do something. It's because you're supposed to be investing in your partner and the dynamics that men and women that they share, um, you could be sharing that with your partner. Like you could be doing all those friendship things with your partner. But what if she is doing everything with you and then she just enjoys different friendly things with him? Like let's say she... What did you mean different friendly okay, things? Okay, so for example, she every night goes on a date night with you. You go out to dinner, you go to the cinema, you go bowling, things like that. And then like maybe during the day she hits up her guy best friend and they go like shopping together or... Um, they go for a coffee lunch together or they talk on the phone for an hour or I think FaceTime that, every day and things like that. Yeah, I think that um, a, a girl in her right mind just wouldn't do that anyway. Okay, all right, so answer this for me then. Would it be okay if she was going out shopping with her female friend or yeah. going for a coffee date with her female friend or FaceTime and her female friend every day? Yeah. Why? Well, I actually asked someone this question and they said to me, that the reason that it would be okay is because the the way that the way that she spends time with guys is the same as the way she spends it with girls, but she would rather have that time with the person she's in love with and share those things because the, the things that guys and girls do are slightly different unless the guy's gay. And so the things that I was doing with Bailey um, when we were going out as friends <coughs> and eating, she could go out and eat with me and we did go out and eat the other day, but majority of the time, rather than picking me even though she hasn't got a problem with me she's going to pick her man so a girl that's picking this other guy when you've got a new guy in your life it's a bit weird and the same i would say the same thing if you are with a girl but you're still going out with your girl best friend as frequently as your girlfriend what's the point well why do you have a girlfriend okay so i this is where it's not it's not comprehending i i find this all very contradictory so i've explained to you that she's still doing everything with you as her partner and you've explained the things that she does additional with her girl mate, it would be odd to do it with her guy mate. But I either way, that odd. separate time, that separate time is still being spent with a mate. And if you're saying that men and women can just be friends without it meaning anything else, then I don't understand why it's an issue whether she's hanging around with her guy mate or her girl mate, even though she's still giving you all the love, attention and affection in, in the world. I just, I don't understand. Well, she's not, is she? If she's hanging out, hanging out with another guy that frequently, she's not giving you all that attention. But, you, but you're saying that she can do it with her female friend. Because that... Okay, so let that's me, not, let me that's, not, uh, that's not adding up. Let me try to explain it. Because all the people in relationships seem to understand wh- why it makes sense. And I'm their friend. And even they're saying, yeah, no, I'm going to hang out with my guy. No hard feelings. Correct. I mean, but she's hanging you, around make, with you anyway. No, no, but I'm the making, additional time that she makes for her friends, mm. instead of hanging around with her girlfriends, mm. she's hanging around with her guy friends. All right, let me, I'll, I'll make, I'll make this make sense for you. She grew up with you. around guys and not girls. She's a guy's, like, she's not a girl's girl. I'll make this make sense for you. Okay. If you get into a relationship, yeah. right, let's say that me and you are going out constantly, go, yeah. going out to eat or whatever. Yeah. Are you going to keep that same energy in the relationship? Can I say something to you? But I don't believe men and women can just be friends. So I wouldn't like that anyway. And me personally, I wouldn't be hanging around with a guy, buddy, buddy, if I was in a relationship. Mm. But I don't understand how you can say it's fine if she's single and fine if she's not. And you're claiming it's because she should be building this time with her partner. She is still doing that. Okay, I could be in a relationship right now with a guy. And still see my female friends a couple times a month or, or, or whatever. See them once a week or whatever it is. 
let's say I didn't have female friends and I only had guy friends. I'm still spending all this time with my boyfriend, but on the odd occasions that I would see, see my female friends, imagine they're all men and I'm seeing them instead. You're still going to say it's... it's, it, it, it's no, it's if you're seeing a group of friends... No, one guy friend. I've yeah. got one guy friend. Okay, so I'm going to echo everything everything that everybody else said to me that are in relationships. Okay. They all said, first of all, it's a respect thing. Yeah. And it's Because a, men and women can't just be friends, that's why. It's not just that. That's why. It's because... Like I said to you, I mean, they can be friends because I've had these friends for ages. So you're wrong. But it doesn't... I'm it living just, proof. It doesn't, it doesn't make... Yeah, I just... So I, I find it very hard to then? believe. I find it very hard to believe that all of your friendships that you've had really close with all these women, that there's not ever been anything, Hold even on, if no I one's expressed that. it, even if, it's, if no one's expressed it, that no one's in the back of their mind thought like, yeah, like he's fit, I'd love to sleep with him or, or whatever. I don't believe that. I don't believe it from either end. And I just think the whole concept of you're either friends or you're not, it's not she doesn't need to be close with her, her, her male friend because she's got me now, but she can still be close with her female friends. No, if she's got male and it's female not, friends, she should said. be able to be, be still be close with them right. and still give you all the time in the world. Let me finish my point because you're misunderstanding because you keep I interrupting am. me. Go for it. It's not that I think something is going to happen. It's about how you're splitting up your time. If you're spending equal amounts of time with another man, why are you not spending it with me? That's the same sentiment that every single uh, woman that I ask, why is he hanging out with this girl? You're not understanding. No, no, no you aren't. I am understanding. Let me finish my point. The no, because what you're saying there is incorrect, though. It's Sabi, invalid. Sabi, you're moving on before I've even clarified this point that you've made. What's the clarification? Okay, you're saying, you're saying the time she's spending with him, she should be spending with you. Why does she need to give that time to another man? Yes. But I'm saying she's giving you all her time. She spends every single day with you. You go on date nights constantly. She confides in you. She tells you everything. She wants to see her guy and mate once every two weeks. No one cares about once every two weeks. You were talking about FaceTiming every day. Yeah, because they, they, the because before thing. she met you, she was on FaceTime with this guy every day and they're just friends and you think male and females can just be friends. What's wrong with that? Sometimes she might want to bitch to her friend about, about you, about things that, that you that haven't anyway. spoken to. You're well, bitching about okay. me to another guy. You're an idiot. Okay, so okay, so let's say you piss your girlfriend off and she calls up her female best friend and says, oh, he's annoying me today. He did yeah, this. Yeah, go talk to the girls. Don't talk to another man. But if they're just That's friends, what's the issue? But if they're just friends, what's the issue? It's not about. It's not that someone's going to slip their dick in her mouth. It's that he's another but, man. I'm the man in your life. Why are you talking to another man? But they're just friends. They're best friends. It's not friends. about friends at that point. It's about respect. No, I'm your man. Don't you're worry th- you're about making that. it about you sex. You think that they can or not. You're making everything about sex. It's not just about, about sex. sex. It's, it's everything overall. Right. Just, you know what the problem is? The framing of the question is poor. Can men and women be friends? Yes. Be just is friends. Is it likely that they would just be friends? No. <coughs> That's why it should. That's what it should say. Because can men and women be friends is an absolute. I just you think are saying absolutely it is impossible, and that is obviously not true. I just think your point is very contradictory. That's why all is my I'm point saying. very contradictory? I've explained it to you about a hundred. You've times. dismissed what I've said. You're even dismissing my own life experiences. No, no. I just I'm failing to understand. Savvy, how you're you're dismissing my life experience. I'm not dismissing it. Explain I'm not it then. Are you saying it. that on I'm not dismissing side, it. I'm saying I don't understand. Okay, then I'm going to explain it to you again. Growing up with these people and even meeting my friend, my friend Anya, yeah, who I met only a year and a half ago, yeah. At no point, at no point, mm-hmm. has she ever expressed <laughs> interest, and she's very very outspoken. Mm-hmm. And at no point have I expressed interest. Why would I hang around with somebody? All right. Go no. on. Go on. No, go on. I'm Why not would I hang interrupt. around somebody that much that I want to sleep with and she's telling me about her business X, Y, X, X, Y, and Z? Yeah. Why, would I, why would I want to do that to myself? Okay. So you've been good friends with... All right. So who's, who's somebody you've been good friends with for long years of your life and now they're in a relationship and they don't talk to you as much anymore? Name me one person. Uh, how many years are we talking? Whoever you've been super close with, like this, like so close, talking every day, hanging out every week. Who? Uh, and is now in a. Eliana. Eliana is a bit different because she she. Next. Um, Andrula. Andrula, is now in a relationship. She's she's not now, but she was for a very long time. Okay. 
So Andrula was really good close friends with you. Mm-hmm. She got into a relationship and she backed off. She's like, Michael, I've got a boyfriend now. I'm going to focus on him. She didn't say that, but... But that's what you're implying. Yeah, am well, you I focus am on I wrong? somebody else. So you... Yep. Okay. Naturally, that yep. happens. Did Andrula, during this period of time, stay close friends with her female mates whilst with this new guy? Uh, most likely. So it's a, just a bit odd why the male friends getting dropped out when you're I, just I've, friends anyway. No, I wasn't dropped out. It's that she spent more of her time doing things that she might have done with the guys because she's got a, a group of friends like going bowling or whatever. Or she spent more of that time doing it with this guy. There was still meetups. It's still different. S- you said that. Huh? A group is different than one friend. Even uh, even just one friend because she hangs around with the, each of those guys individually. But that time was now spent with this new guy who she's in love with. She wants to spend her time with him. She's not confining us when he's doing something wrong. That's a bitch move. That's disrespectful. That's not because he's gonna someone's gonna slip their dick in her mouth. So 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 then more li- more than likely she would have pushed her female friends aside as well then because she, she's they, given all she her time to her more, man. More they would have had less of her time definitely. Maybe more than the guys because she's gonna spend. I'll give you an example. There was a girl that I used to watch. Um, anime with mm. when i was much much younger not, not watch anime with but actually let me rephrase the girl that i used to talk to about anime a lot and we were really really cool cool friends right i used to be really active in like the fighting game scene so i'd she would always be there i'd see her throughout the entire year and we'd we whenever i'd go to a tournament i'd sit down with her we would chat about anime and then she got with a guy and when i was going to the tournaments we were still blessed but she was talking to the guy about anime it's just her, her interests shift. It didn't mean that we were going to I see get each other. That, I get that naturally you give more time and, and attention to your partner. Everyone does. Yeah. But I don't understand or agree with the concept of just because he's your guy mate, you, you need to back off from him now, but you can still keep your female friends if your whole point is men and women can just be friends without it meaning anything or there being any deeper intentions there. It just it, it is so, very contradictory and it, does, it doesn't make sense to so me. So what you're saying is that <coughs> when my friend Bailey, for example, mm. got with her new guy, mm. the reason she backed off is because in the back of her head she thought something might happen between us. No, it's not even that. It's just if, if there's nothing else, no thoughts or feelings or anything else there, then there's no need to cut any of your friends out. That's my point. Just as much as she can keep her female mates there is the same way she can keep you there. It's not It's not that you're cutting them and out. You're decreasing time. Can I just say something? I'm the sort of person where I wouldn't like it if my boyfriend had a, a, a female best friend. I'm sorry. You, you know, I'm mm-hmm. in agreement. You should be spending that time with me or, or making, like doing this stuff with me. And I don't have guy best friends now anyway. But if I did, again... Um, I wouldn't want to be buddy buddy with a guy knowing I've got a boyfriend. So I understand that concept and that mentality. I'm with you on that. Mm. But I, th- I, I, th- I also, I disagree with the point of men and women can just be friends without there being any sort of deep feeling there. Put it this way: the guys who I was close friends with never, at the time, crossed any lines or said anything to me. You know, there was no- nothing there, which is why I didn't know that it was they were feeling something else. Until down the line, till we're not friends anymore, it all makes sense, right? <coughs> so, essentially, you can say we were just friends, correct, we were, but in the back of their minds, they, they, they was thinking and feeling something different. Yeah, I'm not denying that, but I, again, I said to you that this is an absolute statement, and your absolute statement can be proven wrong. If you said that, can men and women be, if the question was, can they be friends, and how, how likely is it they can, they, they can remain friends, I would agree with you in saying, very unlikely. But the question is, can they be friends? And the answer is yes. It's just unlikely. You're saying it's impossible. And that's obviously not true. Um, okay, I'll, I'll put it to you like this. Even the girls that I'm friends with now. I never once said it's impossible, on. by the way. You Even just put the, words in my mouth. Can I just say that? So you don't think it's impossible? I mean, um, I, think, I think I'm in agreement with you of it's very unlikely. But you think it's but possible? I'm, um, I guess, I guess, okay. but still, your 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 thing doesn't make sense. Your your contradictory concept. I forgot what I was going to say now because you interrupted Sorry, me. Sorry, I apologize. But I, d- I definitely don't think you've cooked me. You're like you're going to get cooked. Absolutely not. Well, you're just wrong. Men and women can be friends. 
I'm not wrong. You can't say I'm wrong. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Opinion. The the friend the, the <laughs> female friends I've made uh, this year or last year yeah. that I saw all throughout the year, as my mm-hmm. friend the year before, I've seen for the last two years, maybe like for six, seven months in the year consistently. I, if they, first of all, there is no attraction based off their physical looks. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't just want to sleep with them because I don't think you should muddy the waters. Like, I think it's probably a bad idea if you're, don't smile at me like that. You didn't let me finish. But they're really nice people. Now you can't walk up to me and, and tell me, no, Michael, they would do something. First of all, I already know I'm not their type. One of them is into Sri Lankan guys. One of them is into dark-skinned black guys. Yeah, but you're and also other, into Japanese girls. I'm into Japanese girls. I'm into other girls as well. There's all sorts of girls around the Can world. Can I say something? No, I'm not finished yet. Oh, sorry. You can't say to me, Michael, um, something would happen here. And if I got a girlfriend and I saw them less, my reasoning would be is that I like these girls. But I like my girlfriend. I want to spend this time with my girlfriend. I want to talk to my girlfriend about Correct. anime. I want to talk to my girlfriend about Correct. what she's into. Not because they're going to rub their clits across me, but because I want to spend my time with this girl. It's not an attraction thing. And it's not that we can't be friends. We can be friends. I'm now divvying my time. All right. What about, let's take Jamie for an example. Yeah. I'm not gay. So where's this going? Uh, (laughs) Where's this going? Let's take Jamie for an example. Jamie is in a group chat with all of us. Yeah. Yeah. Let's say I added in three of my female mates. Yeah. (coughs) And I kicked you, Mo and Shax out. So now it's just Jamie and and me and three of my friends in this chat. Jamie's watching this laughing right now. (laughs) And we talk every single day. The same way you guys talk every single day. We talk every single day in this chat with Jamie. And every single night he's online playing games with us. Should he not be doing that because he's got a girlfriend? It depends. Depends on what? The time he's given you guys, you. can he not give the that exact, time to us because we're all women? The exact example you've just shown me. Where's my phone? I'll show, I'll show. Oh, here it is. Let me show you something. I've got this group chat mm. called Dinosaurs, Dickheads and Demons, right? Nice. Look at the people in this group chat. What do you see there? Girls, 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 girls. Now you could message anyone. But, yeah, is this the one you're saying has got a boyfriend? They've all got, well, I don't, I don't know if Amy does, but. Uh, the other three do, right? Right. I've I've gone to their place mm. and um, we've hung out. Mm. I talk to them on a regular basis. We talk yeah. all the time. Hang out one to one or hung out with all of them as a group? As a group. Oh, slightly but, different. But okay. Yeah, but that's because we've got an order and there's less time. So when we see each other, it's as a group. Yeah, that's but normal. Previously, You're when like there was... You're like the gay best friend in that situation. Potentially. <laughs> but any one of these girls could tell you that even if they were alone with me. And I was alone with, with uh, Shanice when everybody went home. Yep. And we were both drunk because everybody was meant to be staying over. Yeah. I said to her, just let me sober up. I'm just going to chill on the couch. We just sat there yeah. talking. I went home. Yeah. Okay. And I think it's different when it's a, a group friendship thing like that, mm. as opposed to you being best friends with one woman. You've been best friends for years and you talk every day and you meet up and but you're the ha- one that hang, gave the hang group around scenario. every week. Um, you gave the Jamie scenario. But, okay. But okay. I'm not disagreeing with the I'm one not, to one. I'm not asking about meeting up and being left alone with one person. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the time that Jamie's given his boys group chat mm. during the day talking and in the evening playing the game. Should he not be doing that if that's girls because, you know, well, he should I, be giving that time to his girlfriend. I think Jamie's a bad example because Jamie talks to two girls on a regular basis and he even brought them to Comic-Con with him. But that's not the question I'm asking you. Refer- say the question the, again. The question I'm asking you because you're saying you should be giving your time to your partner, not somebody of the opposite sex. But Jamie spends all day talking to his boys and he spends all night playing with his boys. Careful with the phrases. <laughs> playing games, yeah? Right. You think that's fine because it's boys. Yeah, we're, we're the boys. But if, it, if this group chat gets changed to all girls and he's on the gaming with girls every night... Is, should it not be the same because he's not then giving his time to his girlfriend because all the time's being given to these female friends rather than the boyfriends? Why well, is it okay for him to do it with the boys but not the girls? Or well, is firstly, it okay? firstly, he doesn't give all of our time, uh, give all his time to us. He he li- he will literally tell us, "I'm busy. I'm with Amber." Right. I okay. don't think that situation awesome. would change. Great. I That's think if he was given the same amount of time mm-hmm. to girls, mm-hmm. like girls that he's close with, mm-hmm. 
and the same amount of time to Amber in the situation he is now, mm-hmm. I don't think they would have an issue with it. Sorry, what? I don't think there would be an issue there. If it was one singular girl mm-hmm. and it, he was he was divvying up his time between this one girl and, and uh, his girlfriend, I don't know what Amber's like. She might take an issue with it. But you're, you're offering a group scenario to me. So I'm telling you, no, it wouldn't be a problem. Okay. One single friend then. Mm-hmm. But he's still giving all his time to his girlfriend. No, he's not, is he? You are impossible. You're impossible. And it's these parts in the conversation. I think in a straight it's line. these parts of the conversation that makes me want to just say I'm over it and cut the conversation short because you make me want to just... Sometimes I just want to... What? Off. Yeah. What did I say that, that threw you off there? Because you just... It's like you just... Um, when I talk to you, you're just like this. I, I, I've just thought, what did I say that made you feel like that? Whatever you just said before you I don't even know lost I my shit. It was like, yeah, but something about group situation or whatever. I don't know what bullshit it was. Don't you think that's I rich think, coming from somebody that talks I over think, me 24-7? I, th- I think I've let you talk bare. Yes, granted, I've cut you off. I'm sorry. I get excited. And <laughs> also, I have to, you know the way my brain works. I have to catch on your point before you quickly move on to the next. Otherwise, I won't be able to defend myself and put up I my, feel? and put up my, no, because you've made a point. So I'm going back, going off of that point and then going to let you go on to your next point. Because like you said in one of the last videos, you won't forget, but I will. So if you go to me, Sabby, um, one plus one is two, two plus two is four, uh, three shit. plus four. Plus three plus three is six. I'm going to forget what the first question was. And I can't tell you that one plus one equals window because I've now forgot. See I what I'm saying? I didn't say that I would forget. I would remember my point. I said I'd remember if you did me wrong. They're two different no, no, things. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I will get up right now. We were talking and then we were both trying to say something at the same time. And I was like, you go. You was like, no, you go. He was, you was like, oh, I I'll thought remember. you meant the last video. I remember what. Not I'll, the video we did two I'll weeks remember. ago. Yeah, whenever it was. Could have been last Clarify. year. You still said it. I can't remember. We, we upload every single day. It's a bit tough. Okay. Yeah? Mm. So the point is, is that my brain is like this, Michael. I'm sorry to, to, to talk over you, but... Didn't I say bring a notepad in? Just jot down what I'm saying. That way I won't lose my train of thought and you don't have to interrupt me. But you don't lose your train of thought, remember? I do when you're going... I'm like, fuck, I can't keep up. You're saying 10 different okay, things let me and you're saying I'm question. contradicting myself. Is there anything you want to raise that you feel I did not let you say or get off your chest? I know the only my only issue with your with your statements mm-hmm. is you've kind of you've kind of pushed you've kind of walked away from it now you don't think it's impossible is that in the beginning you were literally invalidating my life experiences you're uh, yeah, saying no I, it's not true Michael okay. right it's so hard where's isn't my it? notepad where's my notebook I've not, I haven't moved on to another point I'm on the same point no but I'm gonna forget and I just two things there that I want All to right, say go. the first thing is is that, is that 99.99.5 percent i don't think they can just be friends that's very high and everyone's going to probably come at me i don't care you know secondly and i'm talking solo friendship groups not group friendship groups so get that out of your mind solo male and female both straight why can't they both be oh actually that would make sense right okay (coughs) then the second thing you said see i've forgotten it already you said I'm invalidating your personal experiences the same way in one of the last videos we filmed last week, you was like, I was saying something, you was like, I don't believe you. It's the same way. I don't believe you. What did I say that to? Um, something like I said, I won't run away. You said, I don't believe you. So you saying, uh, these mates, I don't believe you. No, no. Okay. There's a difference there. You haven't been in a physical altercation on the streets like that. I have been in situations with girls. It, it, it don't matter I've it told does. you my opinion on something and you don't believe me and I and I've and I've told you respectfully no I've been in situations out on the streets where I have not run away no no Sabi but that, we're not going to get into that respectfully one has happened and the other has okay. not okay alright let me tell you some stuff and you can't include it on camera you yet. don't have to put your fingers no, 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 over no, no, your no. face but then just edit it out but there's been <laughs> Well, obviously. Exactly. I didn't run away. That's no, but no. I didn't run away. I clarified that in the last video. Yeah. I said, if you're with somebody, then you got to stand on business. I said, if you're on your own and you see an exit and you stand and fight, not only are you a donut, 
But you don't understand anything about fighting. Michael, wrong video. We're talking about men and women just being friends. You brought it up. And I'm just saying I don't believe you. And I'm entitled to that opinion. It's not about whether You've you believe me or not. You've said that to me enough times on this channel. Do you want me to call them? About enough opinions. No. Why? Are you saying you no. don't believe me? I'm, I'm telling no, you. No, because it's irrelevant. How is well, it any, irrelevant? Ever, You're saying I'm lying. It's irrelevant. You're calling me a liar. A, I'm not calling you a liar. You're saying you don't believe me. I'm telling I just, you. I just think maybe because, okay, your friend Andrula, mm. when you was, you said you was hanging around with her when you was young. Yeah. 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 Eight. In in the start of this video, you said, when I was younger, that's when I used to hang around with loads of pretty girls. And I Maybe because I didn't get it out of my system yet. So it's, it's You're it's, cutting you're out a part so of what I said. I said that there were girls in school that I were literally just friends with. I said that as well. In school, I think it's different because you're, ha you're, you're forced to be around girls and boys if you don't go to a same gender school. Okay, I'll give you another example. I'll give you another so, example right now. Hold on, I'll give... I hold, said the relax, 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 stop, stop. Okay, I'll give you an example. Go for it. In the work that I've been doing in the last four years, yep. I've, I have a friend called Francesca, right? Mm -hmm. Francesca, I don't know if she's a Playboy model or something. I don't yep. really know what she does. She does some sort of modelling. I am not physically attracted to Francesca. I can see she's a pretty girl, right? I can see. You know, you know when you can objectively say, okay, no, that, that person's pretty, but they're mm -hmm. not for me. Mm -hmm. I have been friends with her since then. Right? I was the one setting up her surprise party. I was the one that, was, uh, that goes to her birthdays, you know, mm -hmm. even if not a lot of people would show up, I'd make sure that I'm there. Now, yeah, there's a lot of guys that like her that I'm aware of, but I am not one of those guys. And I have been friends with her. Granted. Granted what? Granted, this is true. It's true. But there's stuff I, I, I would love to say back to that right now that I don't want to say on camera because I don't know these people, so I don't really want to be saying no, anything and then anyone gets skin, annoyed at me. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm okay, not well, gonna. I'm telling you that we have yep. been friends for the past... And I'm four, telling you. <laughs> for the pa past, I think, four years, and not once, not a single time... I can even show you our messages that I have from God knows when. Not a single time has there been a single message exchanged between either of us. How often do you hang out? You Again, through through like uh, March Groups? till November. What, like weekly, talking every day, texting every day? No, I don't text anyone every day. You're the only person I speak to consistently. I just opened my phone and you saw my messages. I talk to you and the boys. You less so because you miss exclusive these days. But... Yeah, I know she didn't message me good morning today. You don't reply to me. You, what's the point of messaging good morning if you're going to say good night? Wow. You don't respond to me. Wow. I want to speak to you. I enjoy I speaking to you. I do respond to you. 10 hours later. Michael messaged me whilst I was unwell. In 2018. Yeah. She just responded. At, at, uh, it was around 9.30 or 9.50 p.m. in the evening. Yeah. Whilst I was sick. When? The other day. Sunday. Sunday night. We were night. talking that day. We, you messaged me in the evening, Sab, are you okay? Yes, I was concerned. Yes, at 9.50. He then messages me again the next morning around half 10, 11 o'clock. Sab, I'm really worried about you. Is everything okay? When someone's sick, more than likely they're, they're, they're sleeping. Why are you choosing one example? No, no, I'm just trying to say. And, and because I haven't replied from a, a, a p.m. to an a.m., where, where it's sleeping hours, you think that I just don't don't reply to you anymore. No, I, I that's messaged not, you at, that's at, not at whatever what I time, said. 11, 12 o'clock, when I was alive. That's not what I said. You're putting words in my mouth. And you think that I just don't reply to you no. these days until the, the you're night You're putting time. words in my mouth. I don't, think that you're not, you're, I don't think you're doing it on purpose. I don't know what you're doing. I reply to you all the time. Can I finish, lady? I don't think that you're ignoring me. That's not what I said. I simply said... That it takes forever for you to reply. I don't know what you're doing. I'm not saying you're doing it intentionally. <coughs> I believe you if you say that you're busy. But what I'm saying to you is that if I send you a message, and I'm not talking about when you were sick, the only reason I double messaged you is because you told me, you messaged me, and you said to me, Mike, I am feeling mashed up. I don't know what's going on. So I said to you, do you need me to get you anything? Blah, blah, blah. And then you went to sleep. I text you to check on you to see if you're okay. So I double text you because I didn't hear until 11 o'clock in the morning. So I was worried. Sorry for being concerned. This uh, is what you no, get. No, no, no. Forget about that. Forget about that. I, could you say I'm Miss Exclusive and I don't reply and you're saying, that I don't know what joke. you're doing. You might be busy. That you was blah, a blah, joke. Blah, blah. But can I just don't say something? I would love to show everyone mine and Michael's 
WhatsApp chat so you can see how much we talk and how interactive idea. and responsive I am. I, I, I message you all the time and I, I don't know how you can even sit there and say, <laughs> I barely respond to you. Like I reply to you more than I reply to my own family group chat. Sabi, I talk to you every day, and I practically talk to you all day, every day. What do you want you me do to not. do? Keep my hand here and no. just all day. <laughs> Don't listen to us. She's sorry, to sorry, I can't take this work phone call right now. I have to message Michael. But that's not what I'm saying to you. I'm simply saying. Sorry, to you, Michael, I can't listen to what you have to say right now. Sabi, I have to if you, you interrupt me one more time, I'm going to turn that camera off and whoop your ass. I'm not saying that you have to reply to me there and then. I'm simply saying to you that the gaps are so big that I'm like, I'm going to come to us anyway. They're I'll not. just. In They're my, not. Okay. In You're your lying. Opinion. I'm not lying. You're lying. <laughs> Don't count this lot of the period that I've been ill. Mm -hmm. Don't count that period. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so just yes. Okay, this is when you were ill. I'm ill. I've this, been ill. We'll for forget like a about week. the ill one. Let's go back to. <coughs> all right, you want to go beyond a week here? Let's go back to. You're choosing the whole Christmas period. Everything. Do you anyway, know what? It's long. Spoke There's bear. too many I messages. Spoke bear. Listen, you, you saw. You saw how consistent I was. You was like, yeah. Let me just. You dickhead. All I'm saying I'm to you. I'm not a dickhead. All, all I'm saying to you is that. In my opinion, your messages are very sprung out. So I, I wasn't angry at you for that. I'm not mad at you. I don't mind if you don't respond to me. You've already told me that. You know, you, we were working or whatever you're not on your phone like that i think it's good that you're not on your phone i think it is as well yeah however because i see you once or twice a week i'm like well, i'll just see her. i'll see her there because she doesn't really respond in a in a fashion that is suitable to, of my expectations so what, i was because i type blunt yeah that's another thing actually i don't believe you're being rude to me but because i can't you know, yesterday I asked you, are you joking right now? Because I No, I was dead serious in yeah. that conversation. I, I was genuinely pissed off. Yeah, I, well, we can talk about that later because <laughs> you pissed me off. But I pissed you off? Yeah, you pissed me off. What did I do? Your, your words, the words you used. What, don't were, piss me off? No, no, no. What, because I said, oh, do you get a thrill from doing this? Yeah, and then you wrote, uh, then what was the next thing you wrote? Delete them from your camera roll uh, unless you get some sort of joy from it. I was like, who, the f who are you talking to? So I said, you know what? I'm going to find whatever. Now, if you guys want context, basically. No, 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 no. Because I type blunt, mm. the stuff I will say here, you will still see as being rude. It all sounds the same to me. But I wasn't being rude, but I was being serious. My point being is that your messaging style is fine. Like, I'm not, I don't take offense to it. It's just that it all sounds the same. So I'm like, I can't infer emotion from this girl on text. I don't know how she's feeling or how she's responding. So I was like, I wasn't mad at you. I was just like, well, there's no point having a conversation. I don't know what I'm, I don't know who I'm, that's why I said to you yesterday, are you being serious? Because I, you're, the difference between you being jokey and serious is like, <coughs> it's like that. The other day, yeah, I was typing on the Discord and Michael said to me, Sab, don't write it like that. Like, just add a bit of personality into it. I said, but this is the way I type, Michael. I can't change the way, I, I can't change who I am and the way I type. Well, you can, but I'm not no, saying you have to. I was just, I was just, I was just giving you some to? constructive advice. I shouldn't have to. Constructive I didn't advice say. for what? I don't. Have, why is that constructive? Like you're basically criticizing the way that I talk. I will talk however I want. What's wrong with criticizing someone? But that's you, a, that's you offensive because you're saying there's something wrong with the way that I type. How is this, Sabi? You criticism criticized means, me before. Criticism means like, mm, you know, I don't really like this outfit. I think you could change your bottoms. Okay. That's rude. That's not rude. If it I walked rude. into your house and, I, and you said to me, Mark, I'm, uh, no, that's how problems. you like dressing. That's rude. But, okay, well, I, I guess we look at things differently because if, mm -hmm. you, if right. you walked up to me and said, I'm not really feeling what you're wearing, I'd say to you, why? What's, what's the problem with it? And then you say to me, oh, this, that, and the other. I'd be like, okay, cool. Okay, so if I said, Michael, I don't like the way you... Um, I don't like the way you talk. I'd say to you, what... What about how I talk bothers you? I think that you're very monotone. Okay, uh, what uh, in in general or just is there a particular time to do it or in it general? Okay, does it put you off talking to me? Yeah. Well, right, that upsets me. I'll try to change it. You're an idiot. I'm not. You an shouldn't idiot. have to. You shouldn't have to. Why make yourself Why? more that's accommodating rude for, me for your to friends? Say, that's that's. 
So I my changed, friends don't like I don't my say hair, geez. so I'm going to cut my hair off because my friends don't okay, like it. Okay, why do you always go not. to these Looney Tune no, examples? No, because it's somebody accepting you as you are. What the fuck? I accept you for how you are, otherwise we wouldn't be here two years later. All I said to you... What is that supposed to mean? What? We're, we're different people. So you're you're <laughs> sort your life out. We're different people, right? But we've come to accept each other for who we are. There's Correct. things you don't like about me. I, know, I already know there's things you don't like about me. I would never judge the way that you type, text, talk, dress, none of That's that That's not what shit. I said just now. I said there's I things you don't like about me. Correct. Not really. There are things you don't if like I'm about honest, me. not really. That's not true, Seb. You don't like... Okay, I'll give you an example. You don't like that. that. fucking extreme. Uh, so extreme? I should change the way I text because you don't like it. It's what? not that I don't like it. We were talking to strangers. I was like, don't sound like you're in Skynet. But that's the way I type. Yeah, I'm just giving you some... Some constructive criticism. I don't need from my constructive son. criticism. Of course, you're above it, Lady Lady Midnight. No, if you said to okay, let me give you an example. Yet, <coughs> you said to me, you was like Sabby, um, <laughs> you was like Sabby. <laughs> I think that you should try listening a bit better. That's constructive criticism. But you because, don't need it, do you? Because you just said you don't need. Hang on a second. Criticism. I listened to that. I'm like, do you know what, Michael? You're right. You didn't listen. You can't be I try, all the I try, time. I try, but I didn't argue <laughs> no. with you against that. I said, Michael, I understand I'm going to try to do better. You said to, well, everyone in the comments said to me, I feel like she's talking from emotions and not logic. I cut out the phrase of my whole l English language that I speak because I thought, you know what? These people are right. It's not the correct terminology to use. So I can understand constructive criticism where necessary, but telling someone I don't like the way you type... I that, didn't say that's that. That's none of your business how I type. I didn't say I don't like the way you type. I said you that would. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just lie to me now. I would. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I said so sorry. that we're talking to strangers, you know, like, okay, I'll give you an example. The way I type to you is not how I'm going to type to somebody at work in an email, is it? <coughs> so the way you type to me, right, if you're happy-go-lucky, is not the way you're going to type to your next man that you've just met. There's not the same rapport. So if we're talking to strangers and I say to you, Sab, you sound a bit like a robot there. It's not me taking the piss out of you. It's not me saying change who you are. It's me simply saying you're talking to somebody you don't know. Change it up a little bit. We you, do that in our day to day all the time. But I shouldn't have to change it up if that's who I am. I shouldn't have to change into my suit for work. I don't want to do it. I do it anyway. But that's you going to a job where you have to be professional. This is my life. If this is the way I am, I'm going to behave the way I am. Otherwise, I'm not being true to myself. Something you always taught me to do. I didn't be tell, true to yourself. I didn't tell you. You cannot type to that person <laughs> like that. I simply tried to give you some Come advice. Come on, Sab. Come on what? That's what you said. Come on, Sab. Yeah, I didn't say, but you're not saying I have to this. I, I never said you have to do anything. I just simply. I think, it, I think it's rude. Yeah, but I don't think it's rude. And we're supposed to have an open open communication channel here. So what are you telling me? I have to censor myself around you now. No, I just think you should choose what you... You knowing I'm a sensitive person, I think you should pick your battles. But you know that that we're close. So if I'm saying something to you, I'm not saying it to be malicious. Yeah, but so why don't you, 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 wouldn't, you wouldn't come up to me and say, Sab. Do you want me to cut that out? Yeah. But do you get my point? Michael, control yourself. I don't, I, don't think, I don't think there's anything wrong with you physically. I've already told you that a hundred times. Yeah. yeah. You don't listen. Mm -hmm. We've had conversations a hundred times. Mm -hmm. And I, said, I even said to you the other day when Darby was there, I said, you look better without makeup. Yeah. What did you do? You gave me the dirtiest uh, how look. How many times are you going to throw me under the bus for this? What do you mean throw you under the bus? You, you said you don't listen. Last time. No, you said you listen to me. You don't listen to me at all. <laughs> anything I say, you go the op opposite direction. <laughs> all the time. Like this is literally like... A marriage counselor. <laughs> Every time I say something to you, <laughs> you take you take it as an insult. Even when I said I text her, I text her, I said to you, if you get confused with what your birth your Christmas present is, just let me know. She was like, Well, you think I'm stupid? I was like I think that we've been doing midnight rubbish for too long. <laughs> Look at us. Well, you're quitting on me now. No, but this is just people don't want to watch us just bickering. I think they do. And we shall bicker so someone. unprofessional. Do you it's remember not unprofessional. Some, one time somebody said to me the way I'm behaving in my video is unprofessional. Yeah, but okay. Whereas my is, YouTube channel, I'll behave how I want. This is another thing though. Oh a lot God. of people think that um, that these sort of conversations will end in conflict. 
right? Kind of like your thing where you're saying men and women can't be friends. Yeah. A lot of the reason that people enjoy our channel mm. is because even though we might be at each other's necks sometimes, mm. they know that when the camera's off, there's no beef, mm -hmm. right? There's never any, there's never a real beef between us. Yeah. There's days <coughs> where you piss me off and there's days where I piss you off, right? <laughs> but even, even if I don't talk to you, there's no animosity. Mm. The love is still there. Yeah. It's just, I don't want to talk to you right now because you're getting on my tits. Yeah. Right. Healthy. Yeah. Hmm. So I respect your distance. You respect mine. Yep. That we, 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 I'm going to see you in the week anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, even if I come here angry, like the, when we spoke previously and I told you I was angry when I was coming here. But then I saw you and you're like, hi, Michael, and you offered me a tea and I just let it go. I was like, it's not a big deal. Can I say something? Which I think is difficult for people because, difficult for people to understand because most of the time these sort of YouTube channels exist with girl, girl, boy, boy, right? Mm. They don't have it. There's not a girl boy dynamic that I've seen where we, we do have arguments, like genuine arguments, but it never comes down to fuck you. That's it. Game over. It's not, that's do never you know what been. Though? I think there has been one video where after the video, I was fuming. That that's I that, actually yeah, like just I've never sat done down. That. I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. What video was that? It was one of the early day ones. But I've never done that to you. You've done it to me. Oh, that's not an excuse. It You're is. a human being. It is. Michael, can I just say something? Yes, darling. Um, I'm going to get grilled for that, innit? Yeah, you are Just cut it out. <laughs> just cut it out. Why? Just cut it out. Okay, madam. Continue. If you think my messages are, like, proper, like, hmm? like professional and shit, like, hmm. robot, you just see my emails. I don't <laughs> want to Because my emails that. ain't like my text messages. My text messages are a bit more jazzed up. My emails. Your text messages are jazzed up. <laughs> Compared to my emails, yeah. Do you know what texting Sabi feels like? <laughs> it feels like I am actually speaking to the T-1000. I don't know what that is. He's a Terminator. I feel like I'm talking to the Terminator. Well, anyone who's it on Discord It was nice to know. see you. I'll see you at mine later on. And then I'll say something to her. She'll be like, I don't like your attitude right now. <laughs> That's what it feels like talking or to Or if her. I'm laughing. Ha ha. Yeah, or <laughs> just a single law. LOL. <laughs> I can't tell if she finds it super funny or just kind of funny. No, if I find it super funny, I'll put LOL in capital letters. You yeah, just I, must not be funny. Yeah, I haven't got one of those. Or in I'll a put long laughing time. faces. Yeah, because you're bare serious and sensitive these days. What do you mean? I, have, I don't speak to you on WhatsApp. Anyway, if you would like to see the way that I type, <laughs> I would leave, say go into Discord, but she's not in there. Here we either. go. Here we go. <laughs> dig, 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 dig. <laughs> Dig, dig, dig. <laughs> I barely even text you back. Anywho, if you'd like to see the way that I type, leave a comment. Don't grill me because I won't reply. But if you leave me a nice comment, I'll reply and then you can see my style of writing. It'll be similar to what you get on a brick wall. What Sabi was here, 2K9. No, just imagine talking to a brick wall. Oh, okay. Just imagine talking to a brick wall and expecting a, a, a response. <coughs> Nasty. I'm joking. You know I love you. It's the part where I have to say I love you too. Yeah. You, uh, I would Hard eye. <laughs> <laughs>